checks it. That'll get out off one of the Pacers. Detroit with four to shoot to Drummond. The big fella, Andre Drummond. First couple didn't go. That one is true. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Work it down to Brown. Able to convert inside. You feel that? I see the confidence building. Indiana with the basketball. Victor Oladipo. Collected by Drummond. Sizing up the defense. Now a drive, but the shot won't fall. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Throws good to cement the three-point play. The lead is back down to one. The possession in favor of Detroit. Has a chance. Knocks it down. Off the step back. Small. If we were at Rucker Park right now, everybody would be wilding on the court. Guaranteed. Oladipo. Gets a look. Can't hit. A drive through the paint, but a shot misses. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Nice pass to set things up. The big fella, Andre Drummond. Two or four now. Okay, that time it was effective. But a really good defender will put that in their memory bank. He shoots. Oh, off the mark. And that's how you close out on a shooter with a sense of urgency. The shooter was more worried about his landing space than he was the shot. control to Durant screen coming Durant nothing going here on that drive to Durant lets it fly from beyond the arc his first effort off the mark and look sometimes you don't have it going every single night maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing Kuzma. KD for two. Ah, Kevin Durant missed his first. That one goes. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. Brown into the front court. Up by three. Pacers with the possession. Oladipo lobs it up. Off the assist. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. Kevin Durant with the block. Just erasing mistakes left and right. A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. Kevin Durant. 
launching it out of the air. Kevin Durant able to recover with the block. The big fella, Andre Drummond. He's 3 of 5, 60% shooting from the field. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Shoot. Not that time. We call some of these players practice players. You know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice, but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten. That's exactly what... Piston's ball here. To Drummond. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. So many times we get on the defender for quote-unquote letting the offensive player score on an and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Throws good. A three point play. And with that, they go up by three. It's Indiana basketball. To Jaron Jackson. Hello? Hello? Kiss my ass, Evelyn, because I don't know who the fuck you are and why you call my number. The big fella, Andre Drummond. He's now shooting five for seven. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. For three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. To Jalen Brown. Drummond. Shot won't go. Throws it up. Pass stolen by Detroit. Oh, 
baseline drive, the shot won't fall. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs wondering where the foul was every time. Tosses. Stuffs it down with authority. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. To Jalen Brown. And draws contact. Andre Drummond going to the line to shoot two. Guys like Gary Payton would always take ones early like this all the time. Number one, to see if they'll get caught. And number two, to leave a little mark on you to remind you that they'll be on you all game long. Off the mark on the first free throw. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Indiana with the basketball. Andre Drummond sends it away. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. To Jackson. From long range. And in his face, Josh Jackson can't connect. To Drummond. Shot from the lane, won't go. Grabs his own miss and scores. Good concentration. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Finishing inside the paint on that one. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. To Drummond. Old school. Backs his man down for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there.
the free throw as well. Pistons have it. To Drummond. Ooh, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Shifting gears. Here come some substitutions. Couldn't keep. All right, let's bring Substitutions, Indiana. Stepping in for Detroit, number 10. And number 21. To Oladipo, beyond the arc for three. And yeah, Victor Oladipo, quick catch and shoot that time for three. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making a shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. So Brogdon goes to the right side. Brogdon. Let's it fly from long range. Off the iron. No good. A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. Throws it down. We play one at Little Caesars Arena with the Pistons on top. Jay and I come back to Detroit after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. First quarter complete on to the second period. A little bit of a feeling out process so far. And we're exceeding the speed limit. These guys are playing fast. And the thing I love about it the most, there's entertainment in this game. Guys are looking away after they shoot the ball. Guys are clapping. Guys are energetic. This is why you love this sport. To Oladipo. Five seconds to shoot. Oladipo. Rebound pulled in by the Pistons. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go. To Oladipo. Down low, Noel. Oh, nice find for the basket. Well, they have such great throws. To their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Here comes the screen. <laughs> Nothing going here on that drive. Cruises inside for two. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Tough looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Kyle Kuzma. Shot clock to four for the Pistons. Has a look. Not that time. His team up by one to Durant. To Oladipo. Passes for four to shoot. Victor Oladipo. Brown's got the rebound. To Kyle Kuzma. A 
able to convert inside. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Pacers control. Nothing going here on that drive. The shot almost. Brown with it up top. Leads just a point. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. To Oladipo. Down the direct. <laughs> Kevin Durant. That's three now on four shots. Kevin Durant. Dynamic once again. I'm giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. To Jalen Brown. Going to launch beyond the arc. Tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. Couldn't keep it in. Out of bounds off Jalen Brown. Hold the depot into the front court. Leads one. Knock loose. High risk, high reward. It stays in their possession. Pistons recover. Ah, the monster stuff. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dunked that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Hold the depot into the front court. They trail by one. Josh Jackson to Hold the depot. Josh Jackson, down low, Noel, to Jackson. Here comes the screen. Deep two there, won't go. Brown, into the front court. He'll run the offense. Nerlens Noel, huge block. Sent a message on that one, Ed. And he finishes at the rim. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. It's Detroit's ball to Kyle Kuzma. Rebound belongs to Indiana. Hold the depot into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Down low, Noel. That's no good. Brown with it up top. Down by one. Had a chance, but it's no good. To Jackson. Here comes the screen. Josh Jackson to Oladipo. Down low, Noel. With the fadeaway. Burns him for the basket. And if you don't contest, he's knocking that down with ease. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. Trying to cash in. Pacers secured the rebound. Over the depot into the front court. Leads three. To Jackson. Yeah. 
That'll get out off one of the Pacers. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Drummond. Oh, great pass. Setting up the basket. And Ed, here's my offensive theory. More touches, more points. This is a fast-paced lead. Either the coaches adapt or you'll be left behind. To Jaron Jackson. Fires the three. They swarm Jaron Jackson. Missed the shot. Oh, big man doing work right there. Oladipo. That's going to be out of bounds. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Into the game for Indiana, number 23. Jaron Jackson. Can't connect from in close. Pacers secure the rebound. Hold the depot. Drummond. And a nice finish at the rim. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Pacers with the possession. To Hold the depot. Here's a chance from long range. Oh, good offense beating good defense. That shot was nice, but that pass, that was the real highlight. Good teams always find a way to get the best shot available. To Brogdon. I oh, missed it. How'd that not go down? Stuffs it down with authority. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get to the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Drummond. He gets it. Look, the most efficient offenses are the ones with the highest number of assists. There are only five teams in the league that average 25 assists or more. It's Indiana basketball to Jaron Jackson. 4-3. No good. That's great defense. Almost. Tough shot in traffic. To Oladipo. Easy path to the rim. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. To Drummond. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. Learn from that. You got to be a step ahead of the offensive player. Know that fake is coming again later. To Oladipo. Yes, Victor Oladipo. Ooh, three for eight. He's got to do better. The NBA's most improved player was a guy that always invested in himself, both on and off the court, but he always put in the work to be better. Was a sponge for information, an insatiable appetite to be the best. But the difference is, he's believing in himself. Whether that's singing at the NBA award show or performing at the highest level on the court, it's safe to say that Victor Oladipo has officially arrived. Durant. Gets it in the right corner. Ola Depot. That's off the side of the rim. Short. To Drummond. Scores from the post. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Indiana with the basketball. Here comes the screen. Has a chance. 
Off the mark. To Brogdon. Fires the three. Not that time. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance of a three-point play. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Free throws good, a three-point play, and with that, they go up high three. The possession in favor of Detroit. To Kyle Kuzma. Not that time. To Jaron Jackson. Nice pass to set things up. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. To Drummond. Knock loose. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Pistons. To Oladipo. Your jumper stays out. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Late heave to beat the buzzer. Time expires to end the first half. The Pacers have the lead. the narrow lead. It was their playmaker, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Indiana Pacers. The Pistons aren't down by much after two quarters. And that deficit is a negative, of course. But I do see it positive. I really like how they move the ball, keeping each other involved offensively. They've got a nice flow to their game today. Game track. Bench points. What I found interesting about that half of basketball is how the momentum stayed high, even when the substitution started coming into the game. These guys coming off the bench, from both benches, actually, are doing a great job of making positive contributions. Player of the half. The field speaks for itself. He's definitely the player of the half. Now he just got to give an encore to get his team to win. wants to be picked for this segment, but he couldn't avoid it. Maybe he'll turn things around in the second half. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. to the second half. I'll see you after the game. A 
the depot into the front court. Up five. Yes, and the foul. And it changes. I'm going to win on the ball, bro. I swear I'm going to win on the ball. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The ref spit, and that's the game. One free throw, count it. It's a three-point play, and the lead up to eight. Pistons ball here. To Drummond. Count the basket at the rim. Sometimes when the players find the flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in the zone by himself. To Durant. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Great defense, forcing the miss. To Jalen Brown. To Drummond. Count it. No and one. There was some contact there. And did you see the lift on the shot? Did you see the ball release off the hand? To be able to have the concentration to finish with such a feathery touch in the midst of contact, that's something special to watch. Has a look. Can't connect. Mm, this game is all about the small victories, though. The execution on that play was on point. You keep executing like that, those shots are going in eventually. Oh, denied! As my old teammate RJ would say, stay down, clown. Drummond. Detroit with four to shoot. Able to convert inside. There you go, finally. Shoot your shot. Stuffs it down with authority. Oh man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for big. Pistons have it. To Jalen Brown. To Drummond. Shot from the lane won't go. To Durant. Trying to cash in. A shot by Durant that's no good. Has a chance. Gets a look. Can hit. For three. That's good D. Shot no good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. To Durant. Ah, uh, Kevin Durant. Four out of seven. He's a modern-day big that plays like a 6-2 guard. Scary. It's Detroit's ball. To Drummond. Off the assist. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. To Jaron Jackson. Jalen Brown sends it away. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Kyle Kuzma. Finishing inside the paint on that one. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Send it away. Did you see how far he got up? He kept going up and up and up. I think he's still going up. To Jaron Jackson from long range. And it's Kuzma able to clear the rebound. Brown into the front court. The deficit is six. Lays it up and in.
There's some players out there that like the freedom of space, and then we have the anomalies. We have the players who feel comfortable being uncomfortable. Hey, the really? The of the game centers them and puts them right on balance every time. To Jalen Brown. Beyond the arc for three. Tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. Durant with the basketball up top. They lead it. Four-point game. Flushes down the slam. Jay, they make it look so easy. Yeah, but it's really not that easy. And as a passer, if your pass is just a fraction too early or a fraction too late, that throws the whole playoff. The timing of this has to be impeccable. To Jalen Brown. That's what you like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. perspective one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up the harder other players were willing to run to their spots the harder the bigs were running to the rims the harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients and when they caught the ball they knew exactly what KB they come on bro how you get dunked on Pacers control Oladipo Tough looking shot there, still gets it to go down. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. To Jalen Brown. Short jumper off the mark. To Oladipo. Looking for his man. Throws it down off the alley you pass. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. From the painted area, won't go down. Converts in the paint. Nice finish at the rim. Might have had an extra dribble or two there, but he got the shot he wanted. Green coming. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. No doubt about where that one was headed. Pacer with the possession to Oladipo. Takes stock of the floor. Oladipo shot misses. To Jalen Brown. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them from each other, that makes sense. Energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Let's it fly from long range. He engulfed him that time. And big time coaching strategy by the staff right there. Utilizing their bench, keeping fresh legs on that shooter consistently throughout the course of the game. End score, strong take. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the past. The past is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Brown with it up top. His club staring up at an eight-point deficit. Now the Pacers go to use a timeout as their coaching staff wants to talk things over here in this third quarter. This is 
Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Oladipo, pass stolen by Detroit. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Here comes the screen. Brogdon. Ah, no good. To Oladipo. Has a look. Oladipo shot no good. To Brogdon. Shot clock to four for the Pistons. Going to launch beyond the arc. Now we'll go. Get that. And ball. To Brogdon. Got a piece to knock it away. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Hold the depot into the front court. Up six. Fires the three. And in his face, Josh Jackson can't connect. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. It's good. And one. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. is good to cap off the three-point play and the lead is down to three it's indiana basketball oladipo to jackson here's a chance from long range he was all over surveys the floor brogdon scores from the post A bad pass as the Pistons come away with it. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you'll be able to stop a great passing team. Kelly Olenek has got two shots coming. Shoots it at 75% for his career. First try, no good. Off the mark. 0 for 2 at the line. Close, no good. Brogdon. And he'll head to the line. I've seen it happen so many times. Small things like that foul can end up becoming a momentum changer. Let's see how this one plays out. Connect on the first free throw. Knocks down the second after missing the first. Indiana with the basketball. Hold the defense. 
Four three. Yeah, Victor Oladipo. Quick catch and shoot that time. Four three. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. And he makes them both. Rises for the slam. Neither side is giving up an inch. I guarantee you tomorrow on Complex's social feed, that play will have millions of views. And I'm really looking forward to this quarter because the first three have lived up to the billing. Emphatic slam. That's what I'm talking about. Nice finish. It's all business. Pacers control. Fires the three, buries it on the catch and shoot. Every hero needs a good sidekick. Nice find to set up the three. Hey, Deep three at the buzzer. Third quarter comes to an end. The Pistons have the lead. You don't want to protect anything. You want to go after it and hunt it. That's how you really get a win. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Oladipo to Jackson. Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Feed to set up the basket. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Josh Jackson to Oladipo. Time to shoot for Indiana. Victor Oladipo. Rebound Ojale. I mean, this is something everybody can relate to in their lives. It's happened to me when I'm doing broadcasts as well. Sometimes you're physically there, but mentally you're nowhere to be found. We obviously saw one of those same things happen on the court. Oladipo. Here comes the screen. The Pacers with four to shoot. Oh, shit. Textbook defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your pass. And look out. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that ring with ferocity. You always set the tone. Getting dirty. Loose ball on the deck. New blood coming in for both sides. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. Rebounded by the Pacers. Josh Jackson. In the slam. An easy two to get back on defense. Brown into the front court. Up by six.
deep to there. It won't go. It's easy. Force guys into hey. low-person it shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all yeah, the time before the game in the scouting report. Here comes his no, no, no. Did you see Tori? Did you see Tori? Um, church service. No good. Yeah. They showed the pictures of trick or truck. My uncle and Tori. To Jalen Brown. For three. Missed it. Using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. The possession in favor of Detroit. To Jalen Brown. Nothing. Probing the defense. Doesn't get the bounce. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Josh Jackson. I heard about that. I was like, if I was there, I would have went to Vegas. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Strong. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. Piston's ball here. Tough shot and nearly a chance at a three-point play. No foul. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. It goes down. The defender needs to do a better job of forcing a pickup there. Slams it down. I don't think I could do that on the five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Over the depot into the front court. The deficit. Yeah, they um hold on. What? Okay, so she was at the game last night across the at the school and Scores. There you go. I like seeing a scoring coming from unlikely. 